Uh, it's recording cool. Okay, welcome to the JFIPFS weekly core dev team weekly uh, of April 2nd. As usual, we'll start with a round of updates and then use the remaining time to just signify uh, if there are some questions issues that should be tackled or just answer people's questions. Uh, uh, as usual as well, I, I request everyone to share their updates on the quick path. I'm posting to you the link in case like, people haven't found it yet. Um, and the format is like, what, uh, what did you get done last week? Uh, what did you get blocked? Like, do you need review? Do you need just uh, some information? And what are your plans for next week? Cool. So, uh, by the way, before we jump into that, do we have a note taker? Do we have a phone here? The note taker in this class typically doesn't do a lot of work because everyone just like drops their update, but it's always good to have a note taker just catching some side quests that need to be tracked. Uh, Zane, are you like shaking your head because like, you want to be the note taker or just like rocking some music? <laughs> oh, it's just rocking out. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to be the note taker for this week? Can, can, I, can I put you on the spot? <laughs> Sure. Sure. The, thank you so much. Okay, Let's cool. see. <laughs> cool, cool. Okay. Thank you. Uh, as I said, like it should be light. Um, as everyone puts it up later. Okay. Cool. So starting from me, this week, last last week was basically like all the end of the quarter shenanigans for me. Um, I did manage to get to the two of the items I wanted to tackle that last week, which was creating the the module lead maintainers proposal, like the idea of having a, a structured way to rotate captainship of multiple modules that we own, which has been increasing. Um, you can check that proposal on that issue if, if you haven't already, I would appreciate your feedback. Um, and the other thing is really like pushing the LKR uh, planning for next quarter forward. Right now we have a pull request open. Some people have given reviews. And I kind of like, I guess like I've done that, but at some time I'm blocked on that because I do need feedback from everyone in order to freeze that. We should have that list frozen by the end of the week uh, so that the quarter starts next week. And so like next week, like your time is focused on those objectives and the results. And, and yeah, so that's pretty much it from me. If, the, if there is no questions for my things, I guess we can go to, VMX. All right, sorry. To, yeah. All right. Um, so uh, my update is I, I still work on the um, DEG IP, uh, API for JS IPFS uh, API and JS IPFS. Um, the command line tools, this is also what I will work on next week. And um, I'm not blocked. And yeah, I will also want to finish the IPLD format spec. There's some upcoming updates and I want to get this done kind of in this quarter. So next quarter I can work on the implementation. Um, all right, that's all. So a question on that, like if you use the block API as the shim to get the DAG resolver, to get the IPLD resolver, block of misery, uh, to, as if you use the block API as it is proposed on the PR, does it take too much time? Shouldn't it just be like grabbing the JS IPLD module and like dropping it on top of the block API that is already exposed by um, the JS API and like it is done? Um, I like guess it's, um, it's kind of complicated because it's then become, kind of becomes a circular dependency. So <laughs> it's, um, I, I, I thought about, so if I'm um, should JS IPFS API use JS IPFS or not? Oh, uh, I don't so, mean that like it should use JS IPFS. It should use just like the JS IPLD module. Yes. Which, so which that, yeah. Yeah, so basically, so yeah, um, as I say, it was different. So, so currently, the JS IPFS API just supports the CBOR format and the proto buffers. 
And of course, in the future, it should we use the IPLD, IPLD package itself. Um, um, oh, I, I just can't get it together what the problem was, but I will probably open the issue. I, I basically thought it through, but just have to remember it, and I will probably yeah, just post an issue so I don't take that. Sounds, sounds good. Uh, yeah, sounds good. We should also not be yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to see if there was like any specific blocker. But, but yeah, like towns there is, and so let me know what it is. Yeah, all right. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. Any other questions for Volker? All right. Oh, sorry, I muted myself. Matchy, go ahead. Uh, your turn. So I have been creating C lib -G -Lib -G crypto, and I have been doing some more work on the peer to peer dissector with highlighting the bits in the uh, CQIO messages. Um, Currently, I'm blocked by a few issues uh, from lib to peer um, because uh, one issue uh, that it crashes often, and there's another, I forgot to link that. Um, then I need some features added to lib to peer to um, have the ability to change transports and listeners at runtime. And next, I will uh, probably uh, try to get a uh, node trust deployed and used in production. And I will also try to finish at least one max serve for the lipid peer die sector. Interesting, I see, I see the issue that you're posted. Um, yeah, they are pretty big ones. Uh, I need to, like, maybe we can like fix Soonish the multiplexer one, but the other one will still take a little bit more time, just given the amount of results that we have to, to allocate that. Um, super cool that you are building CLE peer to peer crypto. Uh, you might want to chat with the C IPFS people because they might have already built pieces that you are rebuilding again. They just didn't really like create the mod modularization that we have for IPFS and peer to peer. Um, and so, so yeah, Do you, are you familiar with that implementation, Matthew? See IPFS? Uh, was, was the question or I, I didn't get it? My, my, my point is, are you familiar with the implementation of IPFS and C? There is um, a I have just seen it today and yeah, I, I just uh, saw it today because I was uh, scrolling through some issues and wanted. Yeah, you should reach out to them. They probably have pieces that um, you need already. Where can I contact them? Just an IRC, IPFS, or is there a specific channel? Or? Their GitHub repo is pretty much open, so you, you can just like, reach out to them there. Okay. All right. Go uh, to the next person. Uh, unless I, anyone else has questions for my team. I don't see any hands. All right. So, Jacob, share with us all the updates. Yeah, so I looked. There was an issue with peer IDs dropping. Um, that was in the SecIO repo. Um, found, was able to find that, got that merged in. So, that should stop with one of the Damien crashes. There's still one more. Um, with packets already being sent, um, but that should improve the stability. And then this week, last week, I started the S3 data store work. Um, I should finish that early this week, and then from there, I will take on the um, working with the lib P2P private networks. I don't have any blockers currently. Sweet. Do you have the other issue uh, that you just reported? The, the packets being duplicated. Um, like, is that an issue somewhere? Is that is. That's an existing issue. Um, I don't have that assigned to me or anything right right now. Got it. Got it. Can, can you link it to here? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, so the, or link it from here. That's what I. Uh, cool. Thank you so much for for talking all of these. Um, awesome. Any questions for Jacob? Uh, I got two hands. Cool. Gar. Hi, Gar. Hello. Uh, 
finally got my feet wet, made a pull request for adding, pushing the wrap with directory down from the CLI into the core. Um, there was a, a question in the repo um, in the pull request I made about a uh, thrown exception disappearing. Um, yeah, other than that, I think it's fine. Um, I'm not blocked other than um, we're, I, we're, we're going to meet Friday, David, you and I, to, to discuss where to go next. And that, that meeting still needs to happen. Until then, I'm just going to troll through the issues and see what else I can contribute to. Can, so I don't have anything on my schedule right now. I think you scheduled for last Friday and I asked to reschedule. Can, can you like, just make sure like, there is an event on the calendar? so that like, there is, I, don't I will. I went this morning and you were booked today and I was gonna wait till after this meeting to schedule the meeting. Sweet, okay. Yeah, like, um, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Mondays are particularly kind of easy <laughs> without the people's calls. Uh, cool, so you should not have to wait for Friday to tackle on other issues, like the process is still the same. So people throughout the quarter, and I guess like, this is a clarification for everyone. Throughout the quarter is like everyone gets their own objectives and key results, which is like the big bodies of work that they should be like tackling. But there are still issues that pop that we don't expect. There are still things that we don't know. And so we typically like try to triage those issues, give them a priority, give them a difficulty, um, understanding there are good issues for new contributors. And those issues are like easily found, uh, easy to, it's easy to find them through the waffle board. Uh, and so if you don't have anything like on your stack right now, just go to the waffle board and pick the next one. And, like, and just keep rotating, doing that. Um, once you get a large piece of things to work, uh, if you get them blocked on that large piece of things, you can still apply this strategy to then like use your time uh, in the best way possible. Like if, if, you should, if you get blocked on the main thing, you should still try to use your time on fixing other things. Make sense? Yes, it does. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. John, Dan Cron. Right. Hey, uh, so I uh, really didn't do that much uh, last week. I moved up to Minneapolis with my girlfriend and hopped around from a few places. Um, I tried. I spent some time this weekend and a little bit during the week uh, addressing some review, some great reviews on the pin PR um, from a few different people. Um, I think I've addressed almost all the issues there. There's a couple things that uh, thanks. Uh, there's a couple things that uh, um, are still up in the air. I think that they're, that, uh, I don't know who it is, but Aching Brain um, made a question, had a question about uh, some internal pins. I'm not sure where they came from, what they're really doing for us. I think that they have to do with garbage collection, but I'm not familiar with that. Um, so uh, I wonder who, I, who might know more about that. And, um, and then I wanted to talk to BMX about some IPL deselector stuff. Um, or tr using trees. Um, and so uh, I think I have pretty much a full week this week to work and um, we'll be um, working on the pin stuff, getting more reviews, and, um, and also there's the interrupt tests that need to be uh, reviewed. All right, yeah, like, I, uh, like a couple of other people, so VMX and, uh, if I'm not mistaken, VMX and, uh, Ashing brain to Alex Fatite, uh started checking the PR because it's like so hard. So it's, it's yeah. good to have multiple people. Um, I didn't completely understand like what is the issue that Hacking Brain pointed out. If you could put here that issue so that I can read it later, that would be helpful because then I can point you to the right person to talk to about what it is, uh, what is mm -hmm. the of the set you mentioned. Is uh, it enough to ping? To do it like an at David David Diaz yeah, on the yeah yeah, yeah. I definitely process all the GitHub notifications or at least I, like sometimes one sleeps and it can mm -hmm. happen you can always be me twenty four hours later and <laughs> um, hopefully okay. it's nothing because it has happened a couple of times <laughs> with this issue mm -hmm. um, so but but that's it cool, thank you um, so do you think like the pin API will be ready to merge this week? Um, presuming, you know, uh, that, so I think, um, I think it could use another review. Uh, you know, I know that there was, there were a lot of comments, there were a few, you know, like 10 or 15 comments, but um, there's still so much left that I'm not sure if it's been reviewed. So I guess I, I'm waiting for people to, you know, uh, what would help me there is for people to say that they've completely, like they feel satisfied with it. Um, 
So I'll ping those that I'm kind of curious what their thought, you know, if they're, if they're happy with it. And um, presuming all of that. Dimitri? So, that sounds great. Oh, okay, yeah, Dimitri. By the way, I'm just put, plugging my charger. I'll still listen. Uh, quick question about the uh, ping uh, setting implementation and interrupt. Are they working? The interrupt tests, are they passing? I haven't tested them since this most recent batch of reviews, which did reveal some problems or some things that actually code passed that weren't even being touched in the pin set um, implementation. So I definitely do need to go go and uh, rerun those. Gotcha. Um, I imagine that I will see some. Yeah, yeah just making sure that uh, it basically just works. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely think that the interrupt tests need to be reviewed and like you know have a, a first Affirmative. This all works in all the most updated uh, versions um, before we land that. Yeah, perfect. Thanks. <laughs> Dimitri, will you be available to help, especially on the interrupt tests? Just make sure that I can. I can. Yeah. I'll give it Thanks. a All right. Yogo is next. Great. Hi, guys. So uh, last week I made a bunch of pull requests to try to fix the, the JSIPFS uh, mini 5 and ugly 5 version. So I've been working on that. Uh, this week I have to make some more PRs in some repos that were missing, that, uh, those app checks, and I hope to finish this issue. So to make the, the, the IPFS build mini 5 compressed and uh, ugly 5 and mangled. And then we'll have to release new versions of almost repo. I don't know who's gonna do that. Who who can make the releases? Two npm. Uh, right now it's me. Um, that that is why it's super useful to have like a complete map of all the pull requests and all the changes, so that I can myself then really test it easily. I know that you're creating an app that like makes. The case like that proves that like it is working correctly. Uh, once I have that and I can reproduce, then I'll just like do in one swipe, like just like merge and release, but uh, like in, in one morning. It will require me to change like to do a lot of releases because like one of the dependencies multi other, which is like required by all the other modules, and and because it's kind of like a not a breaking change but a breaking addition that then is required. Um, I'll, I'll need to like. Pretty much, I could release every single module <laughs> in the dependency tree because of this. Uh, like yeah. More than a morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's pretty much it. Sweet. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. Uh, do you think like this is will be all done this week, right? Uh, yeah. I hope. I hope so. Yeah. Sweet. Lots of additions by the end of the week. Uh, perfect way to start the next part. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, two left. Uh, or do, you, do people have questions for Diogo? Everyone is satisfied? Cool. So, Dimitri. Um, <clears throat> so, I've been working on the implementation of uh, the B2B multiplexer with pull stream, pull streams. Um, I have a, an implementation that works and passes the uh, interface tests 100%. Um, I created a separate module uh, called pool, uh, Plex uh, that I hope can be reused outside of Lipid P uh, and Lipid P multiplexer will just consume that. <clears throat> it's under my name right now, but it can be, it should be moved under Lipid P. Uh, with the namespace. Um, and right now it's a little bit slow and I'm looking into starting to do basically just uh, perfect implementations and some cleanup um, and adding some coverage to it. So um, yeah, that's, um, that's it. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna be finished by um, sometime mid of this week, hopefully. Interesting. That's awesome. Awesome work. Um, I 
I expected it to take more time because uh, like people tried it with us, Peter and Brito, and they spent a lot of time and didn't match. Uh, I like just to be super cautious and super rigorous. Like there's the interface three months of tests. There's like the mega stress test that is disabled. We have to enable it because it's just sometimes takes a while. So I test that one as well. Um, NPM link all the way, test interrupt, just like make sure that like every single test we have, that like that just stream yeah. is used to test this thing. Like, <coughs> that change yeah. will like really change things underneath the hood for a lot of people. Um, so, but it's cool that like you already have it working, passing your tests in your, in your machine. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it does work on my bugs. Obviously, I haven't been able to test it outside on CI or anything like that. Cause, uh, um, but is it slower or uh, faster than real streams? Right, right now it's slower, but I know uh, where the bottlenecks are. I think, and I will, I will start. I just, I made a, a slightly naive implementation right now uh, using uh, pool pushable, and I think that's what's slowing it down on one end. We can just um, avoid using that and just have, uh, you know, have no buffering at all and things like that. So. <clears throat> It, it, but yeah, I mean, the way I did it with the pull stream interface and everything, close interface uh, tests and all the pertinent to the actual multiplexing functionality uh, tests inside uh, the current multiplexer, uh, the multiplexer, they also pass. So I think it works. <laughs> um, it needs to be tested, obviously, integration. Uh, in, 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 it needs to be tested against the Go uh, multiplexer. But um, yeah, I haven't I haven't tested it against the Go multiplexer, but the rest of the tests are passing, and I'm very happy. <laughs> got it, got it. Yeah, it's definitely one of those areas that's very touchy. So like, we have a lot of tests yeah. you can use it. Yeah, yeah. All right, thank you so much. Any questions for Dimitri? Oh, good. Uh, last but not the least, Zane. All right, cool. I'm gonna go go go. So uh, this week uh, I took a look at uh, pull streams uh, refactoring for IPLD uh, resolver. Um, I did implement the git pull streams, but I was uncertain if the git interface was targeted being like refactored as well. Um, so uh, if you have feedback on that, just in line, I can go forth and either refactor or just add a new method. Um, other than that, uh, a little bit blocked on a pending IPLD format changes for the CID stuff. Um, and then once that kind of thing lands, then I'll go and touch all the projects and make that happen. And then um, the JS multi-adder um, sort of IPv4, IPv6 like bug is still kind of like floating out there. It could be potentially an impactful change or maybe not. Uh, and then the everything is, uh, that's, that's it. And then next week, if the pull streams, like, get needs to be refactored, then I'll do that refactoring, touch all the projects, and link them up. Yeah. All right. Uh, Volker, do you want to take um, Zane's questions on IPLD? Um. Uh, yes. Um, and I, I also would like to add, so the, Format spec is still like so as Zane is now blocked on the format stuff. I think yeah, so I'm basically blocked by the that from someone. <laughs> so you can sign off the changes. Um so I need the email is from Ku Marvis basically because he should review the changes. Anyway, and David got an email about it. Um and yeah, so I can also answer um the IPLD stuff. Although I'm not that that strong on the pull stream stuff, but yeah, so we can probably be easiest if you ping me an ILC and then we will figure it out. Okay, that sounds great. Uh, let's see. All right, thank you. Cool. So, um, yeah, Zane, like, if you could like post the links to the the things here, then like it's easier for people to make sure like you reviews the one. Um, so, what yeah, was like, the last we, bit? 
So you cut out for four okay. seconds there. I, I just like mentioned that if you add the links to the issues and the pull requests, then it's easier for Volker to like jump and give you feedback directly because he doesn't have to search for them. Cool. Okay. So we have like two minutes left. Uh, Gonzalo, like it's your first time in this call. Do you would like to introduce yourself and like share with us what you're looking uh, yeah. for? Yeah. Sure. Hey, hey guys, I'm Gonzalo. Uh, I've been just just taking a sneak peek of what's happening, and uh, I've been actually um, keeping up up to date with this uh, OKR uh, pull request that the the new guys have been working on, also on the latest pull requests and the new stuff coming up. So I'm I'm actually starting to get some times some some more time on my hands. So trying to sort of uh, find something interesting to to help if 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 possible or whatever. Just taking a sneak peek and I know David from a uh, university from uh, Lisbon and, and been going to some FOSDEMs as well, catching up with the IPFS dudes and, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Let me know, by the way, let me know if you have any uh, interesting tasks to jump in uh, and I'll be glad to take a look at and, and, and see what I can do. Cool, thank you so much, and welcome. Yeah, um, it's good to see you here. We do have like a strategy. I mentioned it briefly during this call about how we organize our issues in order for like, to welcome new contributors. I can like just share with you uh, that in more detail, but we have a, a doc on JCP Fest, MGMD, MD, and basically explain, explains how we, we, okay. how we organize issues. G uh, g uh, get out the form, slash IP fest, slash GS, slash IP fest, and then MGMT talk. Cool. Okay, so we are okay. at the clock. Uh, uh, and I always like to ask before leaving this call, just make sure that I, does everyone feel that they know that what they are working on? And if they don't have tasks already, do they know how to get those tasks? Like, does everyone feel confident like, for this week? Oh, you have a hand from Booker. Cool. Okay, tell us. Yeah, just um, uh, I wonder is is anyone in the team feeling responsible for the CI being green? Because like I'm I'm still hesitating to merge things if they are not green, but like still the tests are constantly flaky. Like so currently on Windows, for example. And I just wonder like do we have anyone like so far? So in the first quarter, it's been me basically, but I should spend more time on IPLD. So um, I wonder what the plan is there to yeah. Uh, I can reply directly to that, and then uh, let me do it to also show your notes. Um, we always like want CI to be green. That has been our default, but we added Windows support last quarter, and that was not completely like done graciously. Like it kind of like was flaky, and Jenkins also has been like showing us new errors. And so we have Circle, we have uh, Travis, we have Jenkins. And, and right now we are kind of like this transition period where sometimes we trust Circle and, Jen and Travis more, sometimes we trust Jenkins more. Um, in the end, like, if, if, like, we should always strive for at least equal quality or more or better. Like, we should not go from like six in ATIs. Uh, green to now zero CI is green to merge PR. Like it, it, like it should like show that the like, quality is still intact. Um, and like there are some tests that are already like known by the developers and like those are the ones that are flaky. And so sometimes we might just accept the PR because like it's not necessarily touching the test code, but we do want to um, get it's not it's, like anymore. I do not think there is like someone actually owning that right now. Uh, it is something that we need to bring up. Uh, Dimitri, do you have more notes? Um, you were breaking up a lot, but and I'm not sure if you already said what I said, uh, what I was um, said, what I'm about to say. Uh, I was just saying that I will be probably one of the people paying most attention to uh, CI being green um, across. Uh, all the JSIPFS projects, uh, but um, I, I guess I'm volunteering, that's what I'm saying. But in general, um, as far as I understood, you said everybody should be on top of it. But you were breaking up, so I'm not sure if that's what you said. No worries. Uh, if I'm still breaking up, um, well, I can just go quiet. 
but uh, I'll I'll try to write a or I'll write an issue with like this question and more notes on it, so that then we can sync over text. Again, so are there any more questions? Am I still breaking? I see some people asking. Probably I'm still breaking. Out. Um, <laughs> does anyone ask an extra question? Raise your hand. Or okay, everyone is good. Cool, everyone. Thank you so much for uh, jumping into this call and sharing the updates. Uh, it seems like we are getting a lot of new stuff this week, from the PD API to like getting the uglyfy problem fixed, um, getting like possibly the tag API on the Sacrifice API. So this is great. It's a great update. Thank you so much. Enjoy your week, and see you on the interwebs. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>